after a while, you can see that it is a beautiful method of transportation. <laughs> it's not a safe one. And so Mr. Snicket could not be here today, and so I am here instead. And why? Why are we here? Well, that's a question that even our greatest philosophers cannot answer, but <laughs> the main thing that I want to teach you is two moral lessons. We've gathered here to learn two moral <laughs> lessons. Two moral lessons, one for each of your ears, unless you have a very unusual head. Two moral lessons, and the first, of course, okay. is never raise your hand. When you raise your hand, you expose your armpits, and before you know it, you're crawling helplessly on the floor! So that's the first of the two moral lessons that I hope to convey to you this afternoon. Now, although it's very sad that Mr. Snicket could not be here because of an unfortunate event, it is, of course, appropriate that Mr. Snicket could not be here because of an unfortunate event, because Mr. Snicket has spent a great deal of his time researching and writing down unfortunate events in books that are very easy to steal from young people. <laughs> something of Mr. Snicket's work. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> Have I not run around this beautiful museum and shown you a frightening object and performed a dance right here on this floor? <laughs> and that is only one of the two moral lessons. Now, without risking sharpness in your armpits, <laughs> can someone indicate to me if they have read Mr. Sickett's work. Oh, this is, this is a good plan over here.